Good morning guys, it's Saturday. When do I ever vlog on a Saturday? It's very, very rare, but I have been busy working this morning and Mike has taken the kids out to his parents, to swimming lessons, to football practice. Um, so I thought, why not vlog, get some stuff done, share it with you guys and just make the most of vlogging in December. You can probably tell just from this small area behind me, this house is an absolute tip. I don't know what happened because yesterday it was reasonably tidy-ish uh, but today it isn't at all so I'm gonna sort out up here I'm gonna ignore downstairs for the time being um, sort out up here and then I need to sit down and kind of sort through some Christmas presents I'm confused with what I've got I don't know what I have to be honest with you I've packed it all away so well so that the kids can't see that I've forgotten what's there I don't know what's for Everly's birthday and for Christmas and I just need to write a list and get organized so I need to get wrapping for Evelyn's birthday because obviously I'm with her all week um so yeah that needs to be done today I think pretty sure at this point the Amazon man is fed up of delivering here uh, but I've done most of my Christmas shopping on Amazon this year just because who's got the time to walk around the shops You'll know from my video last year about what I got the kids for Christmas that I do not like doing this I hate like sharing what I've got the kids for Christmas because I don't want it to come across braggy or like oh look how much I've got them because I know I go overboard I know there's too much here and I know that's what the comments are gonna say but there's so many of you that ask me on Instagram all the time like give me inspiration for what, what you're getting for the kids like you get good gifts um so this I guess is for those of you that want to see um if you are going to be offended by what I've got the kids, how much I've got them, please don't watch on because that's not my intention. So as a quick little overhaul, this is what I've got the kids, like both the kids, this side Everly, but this is Everly's birthday and Christmas presents. I just need to like split them. Um, and then here is Harrison's Christmas presents bar a couple of orders that I'm currently waiting on. Um, I think a couple of Xbox games and a new controller um, are things that I'm waiting for at the moment. But yeah, these are Harrison's. These are Everly's. I think I've got a little bit of a theme going on um, in terms of Everly's birthday and then into Christmas. But I'm, that's what I need to do now. I need to sort it out and see what exactly I do have. So as you can see, there's quite a lot of like wooden home toys Everly loves what I like to call home corner I know we're not a nursery here but that's the kind of thing she likes so what I'm thinking is doing um what am I thinking of doing all of like her wooden toys and her kitcheny things for her birthday so this John Lewis tea set and this little sink, which actually is a really good gift idea. It's got like a working pump tap, which she will like. A little toaster, because the girl is obsessed with egg on toast. Um, a little wooden cash register, whoops. Um, some biscuits, these were from Audi, this range. The little town stuff, it's all Audi. And it's really reasonable, guys, if you're looking for wooden toys. And of course, a coffee maker because she sees mummy drinking so much of it so I think that Everly's birthday is pretty much gonna be that little section I don't mean little section you know what I mean this section here some little baby Annabelle nappies and this gorgeous Dinkum doll I thought this would make a really special like birthday present um and I just love it and then was really kindly gifted this little outfit set to go alongside it um, for Everly's birthday, which I just love. Um, this is from Scandiborn, and honestly, I just love it so much. All of the limbs are like movable, and I just think, I don't know, she just reminds me of Everly. <laughs> Do you think? I don't know. I've also got Everly a balance bike. I got it off one of my Instagram friends who was selling it um, after her little girl had outgrown it basically. So I've got that, but that's at my mum's house because that's too big to hide. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be her birthday presents. And then this, whoops, 
just seen these as well the wooden eggs that i got from john lewis and this the kids were both playing with this in a play group the other day or like a soft play um and harrison's like let's get that for everly so i've picked that up as harrison's little present to everly because i just thought that was cute um and yeah this is christmas i feel like i'm getting all hot talking about this stuff because it's just i'm just not comfortable doing it I picked her up these paint sticks, which I've been meaning to get for a while, to be honest with you. She loves these at her little toddler group. So I got these because the ones there are always a little bit rubbish. Um, they're really all run down. So I picked her up some of these to use at home. Um, and then this Duplo set. She hasn't got any of her own Duplo. It's all Harrison's hand-me-down, so it's all very, like, boyish, um, as much as I hate to say that. Um, so I got her a Minnie Mouse set, which she did see in the Lego shop. And she was like, Mum, Minnie, Minnie. Um, and then I picked her up this little book here in um, the Disney store. Quite difficult to get hold of. Um, I don't know why, but I got her this, um, which she'll love. She loves Simba just as much as Frozen and Moana. Um, I got this stuff here. I got this Baby Shark puzzle, which I, I'm probably going to regret getting. It's musical um yeah i'm probably gonna regret getting that but i got that in argos these other two bits here i got in um mother care oh rest in peace mother care i'm so sad about it um but i did manage to get i think 20 percent off of each of these little bits and i just thought they're quite nice little stocking fillers i got this because originally Evelyn was going to have a moana um birthday cake so little Moana here was going to go on top but we've since changed our minds and we've seen Frozen 2 twice now so I think that's the theme um and a little Moana microphone this is quite good I am Moana Motunun. I think she's gonna oh <laughs> I think she's gonna really love that um and that's kind of why I want to take the Frozen 2 singing dolls because she's gonna be obsessed I picked these bits here up in the Tesco's toy sale ages ago. These worked out at like £2 each. She will love these. Um, and then this just little Fisher Price, a little people ice cream truck, which she's going to adore. Some Play Doh. And then ages ago as well, I actually bought Everly one of these um, because I see it all the time on Instagram. We have the Leapfrog Scoop and Learn ice cream cart. Apparently, every kid loves this so yeah we're gonna give it a go she loves her little leapfrog picnic basket she loves toy food and stuff so yeah i think that's gonna be a winner so harrison is five now five and a half um and massively into gaming and figures but he has a lot of toys like when i asked him like what are you gonna put on your five christmas list he literally had no idea and come out and said to my mum and i I've got everything um so we're jumping on the fact that he's liking arts and crafts at the moment um and also gaming he's a huge huge gamer um so I know that family of ours are getting Harrison like I think he's got FIFA 20 coming like a wrestling game or something um and I've ordered him a couple of like cheaper games and just a few little bits here that things that he collects um, I managed to get on Black Friday really cheap and then just board games too because he loves nothing more than a board game with the family so I've picked up a few of those and a box of crafting things Harrison's things cost a lot more than what Everly's do um, but I think it's kind of worked out balanced he's gonna love this I've seen other children playing with it on Instagram basically it's all about coding and designing your own like arcade game it connects up with your um ipad which he loves things like that anyway he got his osmo was it last year or the year before maybe um and he still plays it now he really really enjoys it and i think he is gonna love this let me open it open it up let me show you so it is this little pad here and yeah all of these little squares light up you code the game you make it yourself and then you play it and he will love that i think i will love that to be honest with you that's right up my street um i think i'm going to set it up for him on his ipad like before christmas day because i know he's going to want to play with it immediately i can't get the box back on i then got this little um hemmer pegboard thing i actually wanted to get him this last year i think um but he really likes dt at school and making things and 
I think he's going to really enjoy that. That was, I think, £4 from Hema. Um, and I got a load of stuff from Hema at the same time. Uh, I think these bits here, this side, are from like the works. Just lots of crafting bits. But I picked him up just like alphabet stickers and PVA glue. Little stamps. Um, some blow pens. Some superhero masks. Just things to keep him busy when he is like in a crafty little mood. Um, and yeah, just all of that fun stuff and his own, like his own three pack of sellotape so he can stop pinching mine. Christmas isn't Christmas in this house without all the percussions. So I got him a mini one um, for his stocking. And I saw these on Amazon, um, magnet shapes, which I thought would kind of work well for Everly as well. Um, I'm sure you've seen these tons of times, um, but they were like one of the recommended products on there, probably just to sell them off. But um, yeah, there's loads in there and I think he will love them. It feels really strange not buying Harrison Lego this year, but he's got a couple of pieces coming from my parents, I believe. Um, but the big set, he wanted a big set of Lego, um, but it went discontinued. I'm gutted. I'm really, really gutted. I just couldn't get it. But I explained that to him. I did say, Harrison, I did try to get you it, but it's not available. Um, and he was happy he doesn't mind I said that we'll make like our own version with his Lego bricks that he already has which went down a tree anyway um, but alas we have lots of Marvel things here to kind of not make up for it because I would have got him then these anyway because he collects them um, but these were too good not to buy normally they cost between like seven and ten pounds he always buys them when he's got pocket money and things like that in the Disney store they went down to like three pounds 3.95 each or something like that um, and it is these toy box figures Harrison loves figures you know he loves his Imaginex um, and then next to his Imaginex he also loves these toy box figures because they kind of all move most of them come with like a little accessory um and yeah i think i've probably completed his little collection here now um and yeah a captain marvel he was like mom i've not got any captain marvel things like he's got tons of the other marvel things so picked up a little captain marvel set this one is for the girl superheroes yes um captain marvel we've got you um and this book here which again was hard to find i saw it in the disney store online originally um and i think i actually got this from the book people in the end because it was a little bit cheaper um but he'll love that for a little bedtime story all of these characters in there and then this um doctor doctor which is obviously a own brand version of operation uh, we played that one was in dubai in a cool little restaurant and he loved it so i got that for him guess who because he is obsessed with guess who and this don't step in it <laughs> absolutely lovely i don't think i've shared these before um these lovely little dress up wings everly loves dressing up she's currently been olaf for two days um but i just picked her up this little magic wand i got her this one beforehand in hema i think that was like one pound 25 um but i saw these online i saw them on someone's instagram fell in love and they are from the brand mimi and lula um but that is everything i'm getting the kids for christmas and birthdays also, these little pink crates here, I've just taken out of the box to put some of this stuff back in. Um, but I picked these up in Hema. They were individually like £7, I think. But I thought, you know what, they can sit next to Everly's kitchen downstairs and keep her little food area organised. Um, so yeah, I love those. I love the colour too. So they're obviously the things that I have got for the kids for Christmas. I don't know what Father Christmas is going to bring them. I know that a few little bits have been asked for on their Christmas lists, which is lovely. Um, so I'm sure the little elves <laughs> will be nice and busy making them for them because they've been very, very good this year. Um, but yeah, I'm going to pack some of this stuff up now. Um, my mum's just trying to say that Harrison's... I got him like an art projector thing. I think it's called like a smart projector maybe um but that's just been delivered 
So I think I'm very much complete on the Christmas shopping front. Um, I've decided not to wrap all of Beverly's birthday presents right now because I'm gonna go to Tesco's and pick up some more wrapping paper. Um, and Nikki's gonna wrap tonight, so she'll help me wrap because she's very good at it. Um, yeah. So I'm just sat outside Harrison's room. I'm so hot. I've just been up in the loft to get the Christmas books out. I think Christmas books are so magical, aren't they? Um, it just really adds to like, I don't know, the festivities. So what I'm going to do is take out all of the books that are currently in this bookcase outside our room. Um, because the kids have both got enough books in their room to like see them through till Christmas. So I'm going to take all of those books out box them up and then put all of the Christmas books in there. I might actually move that downstairs um, just so they've got kind of access to them all day. I've got lots of favourites in here but yeah if you are looking for like a good Christmas gift um, present these Osborne ones are great they've got like sparkly lights but also the jolly Christmas postman is like a classic along with oh look also guys make this your christmas reminder to buy batteries so i'm just editing this vlog um, and i'm already at like the 10 minute mark so i actually think i'm gonna call it a day because there's still quite a lot of footage for me to go through here and i don't want to bore you um but i hope you've enjoyed this video i hope it's given you a little bit of inspiration on christmas gifts if you still need to get presents or if you've got a birthday of a little one coming up um for reference just in case i don't know if i did mention it harrison is five and a half everly is just turning two um and yeah i hope this video has helped somewhat honestly me showing off gifts and things isn't me showing off it's literally me just helping you guys out um and yeah and hoping that my kids don't scroll across it <laughs> on youtube anytime soon um but yeah thank you so much for watching if you're not subscribed already then please please do um click the little notification bell as well let me know in the comments what you're getting your kids um and yeah i'll see you guys very very soon bye